in these complexes the central metal atom or ion is dsp2 hybridized and the d orbital involved is dx square minus y square because the four lobes of this orbital are along the x and y axes which can form a square let us again imagine a metal atom or ion situated at the center of a cube so that lobes of eg orbitals are pointing along the axis towards the six face centers and those of d to g orbitals towards the 12 edge centers now in order to understand the formation of a square planar complex we must first imagine an octahedral complex with coordination number equal to 6 now further imagine that the two ligands on the z axis that is along the z square orbitals are removed from the complex so as these ligands move away the energy of the z square orbital that is one of the two eg will fall as a secondary effect of this the energies of dyz and dzx also fall but not much the net result is this that dx square minus y square orbital occupies the highest level at dyz and dzx the lowest this total splitting is much more than delta o as shown in the figure below the square planar complexes are rare except for d8 metal ions for example nickel second palladium second platinum second rhodium first iridium first copper third silver third and gold third all the non square planar complexes of d8 ions are diamagnetic because the highest energy orbital dx square minus y square is greatly destabilized and bearing in dxy is more favorable than placing an unpaired electron in dx square minus y square orbital the same thing is interpreted in balanced bond theory by the logic that dx square minus y square must be available vacant so as to involve in dsp2 hybridization for example if we consider the diamagnetic complex nlcn4 with two negative charge the nickel plus 2 ion has the configuration 3d8 4s0 has the configuration of nickel ion in the square planar field of four cyanide ion pairs dyz2 dzx2 dz square 2 dxy2 and dx square minus y square remains vacant calculation of cfse can be done in terms of delta o with the help of the figure given above but the relative energy considerations are sometimes controversial it must be more important for us to note that the square planar complexes are favored by metals with 4d8 and 5d8 configurations in respect of the type of ligands that is strong or weak because delta o for these metals is already very large but for 3d8 metals such as nickel second 
a square planar complex will be formed only when the ligands are strong. That's why NiCN Hull 4 with 2 negative is diamagnetic and square planar. But NiCl4 with 2 negative charge is paramagnetic and tetrahedral.